When you purchase a texture set from the Nicolzi store, you get two different variations of each of the textures. You get a JPEG and a PNG. And in this video, I'm just gonna quickly show you the difference between the JPEG and the PNG versions and why you might want to use one over the other. I have two documents opened with the same image in the background. On the left, I have a JPEG texture over here. And on the right, I have a PNG texture added. They're both the same texture, just a different file type. Now you can see right off the bat that the PNG texture has a little bit of transparency added, which is the difference between the JPEG and the PNG. If I were to hide this background layer, you can actually see that checkered background of the Photoshop document. But if I go over to the JPEG and uncheck that background, you can't really see anything. I created the PNG versions for those of you who just want to quickly add a texture and mostly apply it around the edges of your images while leaving whatever's in the middle kind of untouched. It's still going to apply a little bit of texture over. It's not completely transparent. I'll go ahead and change the blending modes so you can actually see what they'll look like once you start adding a little bit more uh, stylization to them. I'll change them both to the overlay blending mode. Now you can still see through to both of the images, but some of the purple in the lavender here is staying untouched. Whereas over here, the texture is applying an effect with that blending mode to kind of change the color and the luminosity of that part of the image. Now, of course, you could always go in and do some masking to that, but if you just wanted to quickly add a texture, then the PNG is usually a pretty good option. So that's the difference between the JPEG and PNG textures in the Nicolzi store.